Talo Falawa Olo Imoa O Epi Almavai. And we want to welcome you all to our Fangoa Samoa workshop series. We want to thank our amazing partners and sponsors, the San Francisco Unified School District Arts Department, as well as the California Arts Council. Today, we're going to be walking through our very first virtual workshop, and we're going to go through a couple of basic um, housekeeping and sort of just segments that will be throughout all of our workshops. The first up, we're going to introduce Miss Alicia. Hello, Falaba, everyone. My name is Alicia, and I'm with Fano Osamoa. Today, what we will be doing is a tutorial on how to sulu your ear lava lava. The first method is wrapping. So what you want to do is you want to grab both ends, pull one end inwards, and then tuck the other side in the part that's already wrapped. All right, and just to let you know the ear that she is using, you all have an ear that comes with your kit. So make sure to bring that out and practice with that sulu or ear. There you go. All right, moving on to the next method. What you wanna do is you wanna grab both ends and you wanna bring whichever side, bring both sides to whichever side of your body. And then after that, grab both ends and tie it into a knot, just a simple one knot. And there you go. There you have it. Give us a little 360. All right, kids. And you're going to want to wear your ear to every single workshop that we have. Faf Taitilalava, have a good day. So you heard that. Don't forget to sulu your ear every week. For those of us joining us um, at home, if you have a lava lava, make sure that you wear it each week. Now we're going to go to our weekly segment of Pesa Samoa, facilitated by Ms. Sepua. Hello for everyone, my name is Sepua. I am a four-year veteran of the Fama cast and crew. Um, I will be the, the song leader for each workshop. Um, so I would like you guys to join me in singing the song um, Pesa Ola Tatao. Um, if you have your songbook, you have a binder that comes in your kit. It looks like this. Um, if you do not have it, um, please click the link in the chat. There will be a virtual songbook. Um, I will be going over the chords that we're going to be using. But um, if you would like to play with me, I would really invite you to. But um, so the chords we'll be using are C, G7, F, and C7. Okay. Um, so now I'm going to start singing. Yeah. 
TikTok at Someone Solutions and Instagram Someone Solutions. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sepua. So each week you will be having a short visit from Ms. Sepua who will be facilitating our songs. Uh, now we just want to share the legend of the week, which is the origin of the Tatao. If you are a San Francisco Unified School District student, you should have got these papers in your binder. And what you can do with these papers, along with your handy dandy Crayola markers kit, you can draw out your legend on what you think, um, you know, you can just illustrate the legend on your papers. And then we ask that you share them out to us. You can send it to us through email on our Instagram account, and we will send all that information on how to get connected in our chat. The origin of the Tatao in Samoa. The origin of the Samoan Tatao is believed to have been introduced to the Samoan Islands by Siamese twins known as Titi Matiti. The sisters later changed their names to Taima and Tilafainga. The two traveled to the island of Fiji where they were gifted the tools and knowledge of tattooing. The tale proclaimed that the two sisters sang a song to remember who was to receive the tattoo. As they voyaged home, they sang that women are only to be tattooed, not the men. However, the duo swam on and came across a large clam. They decided they would dive deeper to get a closer look. When the twins emerged, they began to sing the song in reverse, indicating that only the men will be tattooed, not the women. They arrived back home in Samoa and shared the knowledge of Tatao and told the villagers to tattoo the men and not the women. To this day, the Samoan traditional Tatao is a sign of honor, service, and culture. In our word bank this week, we are going to be covering a few words. A Samoan tattoo given to men is called the fe'a. A Samoan tattoo given to women is called the malu. Samoan males who have a fea are called songa imiti. The Samoan tattoo artist is called tufunga ta tatao. The tools of the tatao. An ao is the blade. The tool is made out of a stick and turtle shell. A sao sao is a stick used to strike the ao into the skin. Those that help the tufunga ta tatao to stretch the skin are identified as the Aotoso. Now we would like to introduce our amazing facilitator. For those of you who are, might be a little bit, um, might be beginners on the ukulele, you're in for a treat this week because we have Miss Lueni Masina who will be showing us in more depth how to use your ukulele and also how to play the song that Seipua just um, introduced, which is the Peso Le Tatao. Should you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the chat. Hi, everyone. My name is Lulu or Luangi. I am uh, facilitating today's um, workshop. Um, if you're a beginner, that is fine. 
I am um, no expert at all. So I have a few of my um, Fong Momo friends who will be supporting me in today's workshop. So yes, if you have any questions, please feel free to drop it in the chat box or um, in the comments below. So, so um, first, oh, oh uh, I can, okay, pretty shiny. So uh, yes, so like Sepua had shared, she already gave folks a glimpse of the chords that we will be using. We'll be using the uh, C chord, the G7, C7, and the F chord. So first things first, make sure you have your, your ukulele. And I believe there is a tuner in your um, box, your Fangongo package. So you can bring that out. And what you can do is you can start by putting the tuner on your ukulele <clears throat> and then turning it on. So once it's turned on, you can see there's like a, a blue light. And so one thing that you can do is we'll be tuning our first string. So I don't know if folks can see, but you can see it change from blue to green. So green means that it's in tune. And you might have to tune your uke or your ukulele a little until you get to that green. So if it goes on the right side, that means it's too high. So you might have to tune it lower. And it's okay if it takes time, it takes a while to tune it. And then once you get the first string in the green, we can move on to the second string, the second string. And you see that mine is not in the green just yet. So I have to tune it. And it's too low. And see, it's green now. And then I can move on to my third string. And that's green as well. And now our fourth string. And my ukulele might sound a little uh, lower just because I have a tenor ukulele. And don't worry if you don't get it on the first try. Like I said, it takes time and practice. So practice makes progress. Oh, oh, also, um, so there's different settings. I totally forgot to say this, but there's different settings. So continue to press the orange button until you get to the U. And U stands for ukulele. I didn't know that. That's something I learned today. So make sure that it's on the U. And if folks can see that, I'm sorry. So there is a U. Oh. Sorry, we're still learning. We're still learning here. Okay. And then I would like to call on my support system who will help me with the lyrics for the song. And they will also be joining me with their ukuleles. <laughs> And if you have any questions, remember, throw it in the chat box or uh, the comments below, and we will answer them. So, so our first chord is the C. 
So, and if you're a beginner, don't worry about strumming. You saw say put strum like an uh, expert. So it's okay. You can just uh, strum it like this, or even if you want to use that. And you can hear my backup. So C. And then, so it's just the third fret on the fourth string. And then we'll move to the G7. So G7 is the second string or the, yeah, the second string, first fret, and then the second fret, bottom string, and then the second fret, third string. So it looks like a triangle. So one, and then these two. And then, oh, oh yeah, oh, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry. Um, yes, yeah, so we'll start off with the C, so C. And then the G7, the triangle. And then an F, the F is your first fret or first bar. Second, second string, or oh, third string. Oh, so. And then the F is this one, right? Oh, this is a C7, this is the F. I am so sorry, I have dyslexia, my letters get mixed up. Okay, so we'll play it one time through and don't worry, remember, Practice makes progress, so it's okay. So we'll play how it um, how it may sound. So we'll start off and go, and then we can have some background singing. <laughs> so the C. song it basically repeats so it's all the same chords and I know the C7 it might be difficult to transition from this to the C7 to the F so you could just go straight into the F oh okay so yes so strumming so strong. So strong. Okay. So we'll go back to the C. So it's um <laughs> down, down, down. Oh strumming, it can vary from different folks, but um Sorry. Oh. <laughs> so. So. Down, up, up, down, up, up. So. Down. And then we go into the G7. Oh, 
first the first chorus or the first verse and then so these are the chords in order so c then to g7 and then back to c so Seven. Oh yeah. One finger at a time. Where to place your finger? So the G seven is the triangle I was talking about. So the second bar it would be the bottom string, and then the string after that on the first bar, and then so it would be this there, and then here. So it'd be a triangle. So. And if you need clarification on the frets or the the chords, please let me know. I know this one is a little tricky compared to the other chords. So, oh yeah. So a fret is um the bar. The bar. So one, two, one, two, three. So these are the frets. And then we'll go to G7. So we can practice the first verse because it's just these two chords. So we can go. to see and then once you start um practicing you'll the uh, strum will come naturally then the triangle So we'll practice the first verse. We'll practice the first verse. So with my um, with my support, we'll practice the first verse. So let's get the lyrics. So ready? Remember it's C and then our triangle, our G7. If it helps you remember, just remember triangle. So. job and so we can go into the chorus if folks are ready so it's still the same chords the only thing we're adding is our f right f. <laughs> we're adding our f so some words to it we'll add we'll start from the, the first verse and then sing into the chorus so you're able to see okay
anybody have any questions? You can drop it in the chat or in the comments. We can go over it again if folks would like um, more practice. So, okay, so this time with the help of um, support system, we're gonna play the whole song so um, folks are able to see the whole song and see how repetitive or how much we re repeat the same chords. Support system, you want to join us on camera? Yes, please. <laughs> Can I get some water? No. <laughs> um, did you? We have a question. Oh, yeah. And that is if you can demonstrate simple, just a simple strum. Because some folks are, they got the yeah. they're working with that. Oh, yeah. So for the strum, uh, just, just like I said, if you're a beginner, um, you can just do it like an up, down. So, so a strum, or basic strum would be like up, up, down. system one join me with the up up down so ready up up down up up down and the more you practice the more you start to forget about the up and down so it just comes naturally uh so don't worry if you're not strumming like um yeah you're like strumming like us it's okay it takes time so so um yes so do whatever is comfortable with you. You could do up, 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 or up, up, down. Uh, just focus on what's um, comfortable for you. And don't, it takes time. So don't be too hard on yourself. It takes a lot of time. It took me almost like a year to learn how to strum. So um, yes, yeah, so I guess we'll start with the, um, the song. The whole song. You wanna call the basic support? Okay. like to know if you can show the chords one more time. Oh yeah. The left hand is the, the part that's still new to her. And so okay. if you can maybe um, do one finger at a time or be closer so to the screen. So this left-handed. 
So left, sorry, I'm not left-handed, but left-handed, so a C would be the top. Well, then it's your left hand. And oh, no, she's oh. having, like, the left hand. Oh! Oh, my bad. So, yeah, sorry. Yeah, so, this is the C, so. It's the first. And then the G, G7, it's a triangle. So, remember, it's a triangle. This one. And then it's this, and then this one. So it's, it's a little triangle. So it would be this, this, and this. So you can see my support system in the back. So this, this, this. And then our F is just this. So this string, our third string. So C, and then G7, triangle. And then F, take those two. And then back to G7. And then C. Seven. Oh, the C7 too, but that comes with practice. So if you see us going from here, here to this. So, yes. yes. So we'll practice one more time. So our C and then our G7 triangle. Remember, triangle. And then our F. G7. Remember, just put these two fingers back. Then back to C. So remember, if you have questions, please feel free to uh, let us know, and we can go. We can go back to any steps that need clarification. Don't be shy. Yes, don't be shy. Also, folks on Facebook too, if you have any questions, please comment below, and we will also. Um, Answer your questions too. So um, we can do one more. We can do one more run um, in the uh, the whole song. Yes. And then I think maybe we'll have Alicia come back and she'll have to try Lama Lama mm -hmm. again, and then we'll. Oh, there's Okay.
Yes, so that's how it sounds. Remember the chords are repetitive. So our single C, then our triangle, and then our F, our, number, our other single on the first fret. So remember to practice. And it's okay if you don't have it right now. Practice makes progress. So just keep practicing and um, you're already doing amazing. So just trying is um, all it really takes to, um, to start playing like us. So remember, keep practicing and yes. If you have any other questions, please comment below or um, in the chat box and then we'll make sure to bring it back up. Um, so my name is Lulu. Um, please join Fangongo. Fangongo is an amazing program. I am also uh, four year. It's been four years, so I've also been here four years. Four so. year, Lulu. Yes. Yeah, so remember, I was the turtle. So so yes, I was the turtle. So yes, keep trying, and you're doing great. And yes, thank you. Thank you, Lulu. How about a round of applause for Miss Lulu, for those of you on Facebook and at home. Thank you for joining us. We are going to ask our amazing Miss Alicia back just to demonstrate how to sulu or tie your ie lava lava properly for those of us who are joining us on the Zoom and those of us on Facebook. Welcome Miss Alicia back. If we can go just a tad bit slower with the motions. Again, this is your Lava Lava for our San Francisco Unified School District kids. This is your Lava Lava that's included in your kit. So each week you can come through and sulu your Lava Lava as Alia shows you. Alicia. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's me, Alicia. I'm back again. Um, and I'm just gonna go over the steps again one more time slowly for you guys so you guys know how to do it properly. All right, and these are the two ways that you type or your or sulu your ia lava lava. So the first one, do this slowly. Um, you're gonna wanna bring one side of your ia inwards. Go ahead. And then you wanna bring the other side over that. Make sure it's tight so it doesn't fall down. And then you wanna tuck it into the side, like so. Turn around. Woo, give us a 360. Oh, wait, I'm under 360. Hi, everyone. Okay, so this is the second way to Sulu your ear. This is the tying or the knot method. What you want to do is you want to grab both sides of your ear, lava lava, bring them to whichever side you want, left or right. Go ahead. And then grab the both sides like so. And then you want to tie them in a simple knot like you do with your with your shoestrings, all right? Over and under. Yay! And tie it tightly. Ooh. All right, and there you have it. Give us a little 360. All right. And just remember, folks, you're gonna to want to wear your yeah, lava lava every single time we have a workshop. Thank you so much. This is Alicia signing off. For anyone else who has questions about how to salute your Ia Lava Lava properly, you can just message us or comment down in the chat. Now we're going to welcome Kalepi Viale with our words of the week. If those of you who are joining us that have a Samoan uh, language calendar, you can go ahead and pull that out right now. Come closer, Kalepi. Oh, closer. talo for lava, everyone. My name is Kalepi Viale. No, I am not Samoan, but I'm Samoan by heart. <laughs> All right, so today we're just gonna go over. Wow, my forehead is like, oh, let me just fix this real quick. Oh, hey. Just how you need it. All right, and so like she said, you all have a Samoan um, language and art calendar. If you don't have one, you can go ahead and purchase one on Etsy. All right, link is in the chat. Link right below, I've always wanted to say that. Okay, so let's get started. Today is the 20th, no, yeah? Yes. Okay, today is the 20th. Oh, yeah. Y'all see that? 
Right, right there. And look at this amazing art. Wow. Look at, okay, yeah, let's just get the words. All right, since today's the 20th Saturday, um, the, the word of the day for today is penitala. That is pencil. All righty. Um, okay. Word for tomorrow is pepa. That is paper or pepper. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the 22nd, which is a Monday, it's going to be Tanga Mea, laundry. Girl, do your laundry. You don't want to stinking up the room. <laughs> that poor. Um, Tuesday, the 23rd is Ata, which can be picture, reflection, or movie. All right, uh, moving on to Wednesday, the 24th is Salu. Broom, to sweep, to, to rake. I have many experiences with the broom. Salut. All right, Thursday is the 25th. Fussy Molly. Wow, I love that. Fussy Molly, soap. Say some bad words, you're gonna have to soap your mouth. All right. <laughs> Moving on to Friday. 26 is tabu, tub or taboo. It is taboo to talk back to your elders. So respect your elders, everyone. Saturday is tupe, money, what everybody lives for. Oh, yes, get your money. Can we see the art again? Oh yeah, this is all small art right here. A small art on this first Sunday or before the sun or yeah, okay. And wow. Okay, let me just like close up. Wow. Okay. Thank you so much, Kelepi. Now we are going to welcome Miss Alia Omavai with our quote of the week. Hello, everybody. Tell us more. My name is Alia Omavai. And um, yeah, in your supply kit, y'all will find this Polynesian coloring book by Tosh Love. By Tosh Love. Yeah, um, you, she's on Etsy and if you want to buy more of her merch. And uh, the quote of the week is, never cease to act because you fear you may fail by Queen Lili Uokalani. And right here on the left, well, my left, your guys' right maybe, I don't know. Um, there is a coloring page that you all could color out with your little, um, marker kits that y'all got in your supply kit as well and if y'all color this out post it and share it with someone solutions yeah yeah so each week friends and family who are joining us we will be going over a quick introduction the song of the week the legend for the week, we'll do a topic introduction. We'll have our actual workshop. We'll, we'll also present the words of the week using your Ngana Samoa calendar. And then the quote of the week utilizing your Polynesian coloring book. Right now, we just want to thank everyone who joined us today. Again, we do have a few slots left for San Francisco Unified School District students. If you are a student in the district, you can sign up and you will be able to get all these amazing items we've been showing to you on this live today, courtesy of the San Francisco Unified School District Arts Department. Our first drop of supplies includes the ukulele, your lava lava, your course book that has all of the content, which is also available for everyone online and everything else you will need for the Final Wall Samoa workshop. It's like really amazing stuff. Your acrylic uh, paint set and brushes, easel is included in here. Along with that week, we have your canvas for you to paint with. Again, your creativity coloring kit so you can illustrate the legends each week and please share them to us. We would love to see them. And we also have this week your drum block and drumming sticks. And that will be for a future workshop as well. 
Again, our sign up link is www.signingurl forward slash Vamomo sign up. We do have a couple of announcements that we're going to share. We wanna remind all of our students in the San Francisco Bay Area, nine counties, that the Illuminati Education Gift is currently open for you to apply for. The Illuminati Education Gift is money for arts and for academic purposes, and it's open to middle school students, sixth grade, all the way to transferring students in college. There's different categories, so we will drop the link below and you can check if you qualify. We encourage you to do so. In addition to Illuminati, we also have our Fama Mo Samoa production. You can come and sign up to be part of the cast and crew. The link for sign up is the exact same as the sign up for your workshop. So um, we are gonna be starting rehearsals, social distance rehearsals uh, in April. I believe it's the second Saturday of April. So we will send the information on our locations for rehearsals once you sign up. We wanna welcome back all of our alumni to join us again this year. If you're still in the area, please come through. We would love to see you and have you back. And we also wanna welcome all of our San Francisco Unified School District students who are, um, have joined the program. Please come out and join the production as well. And we want to welcome everyone in the community who would like to take part. It's an amazing opportunity for you to learn more about our culture, dances, traditions, songs, and art in general. If you want a point of reference on um, what Samoa Samoa is, you can check out our YouTube page and it has last year's production listed. Just search Samoa Samoa on YouTube and then click the link that says uh, Samoan Solutions. I believe that that's everything we have. We do have a video that we're just gonna continue to show with some more uh, information. Samoan Solutions is a part of the Pacific Islander COVID-19 response team for San Mateo County. So we have some information about testing sites all throughout the county where we will have Pacific Islander people actually on site to help you through the process. You might be wondering why you still need to get tested when the vaccine is here. Because if you haven't gotten the vaccine yet, it's always great to know where you stand so we can continue to keep our community safe and make sure that we know if we that are, feel great about um, knowing that we're not spreading uh, this crazy virus that's changed all of our lives. Again, we wanna thank everyone for joining. Thank you to our San Francisco Unified School District students. We hope to see you again next week. Uh, stick online for our screen share of our upcoming programs and stuff like that. Thank you, Sofa. We'll see you next week.